Laura and I recently had the baby and in this video I'm going to give you a step by step and also a vlog insight into the first seven days of me being a dad. Why? One, because the video is going to bang and number two, maybe it will help you guys out there. Maybe some of you are first time parents as well and it could help you along the journey. So day one obviously starts with the birth of the baby and she is day one. Wow, I just realized every day in this video she'll be a day older. Obviously, right? <laughs> so on the first day the baby was born, I was playing GTA, I was streaming at the time, and then I got a text from Laura saying, uh, can you come outside real quick? Give me a, give me a sec, guys. So I leave my room while streaming, and I go and see Laura and my mum, who obviously my mum has been an absolute legend during all of this. She stayed with us. She's still been staying with us since the birth. Uh, and she's also been helping with the orders as well, with the business stuff, so she's been absolutely amazing. But Laura and my mum are there, um, and I say, do you want me to come with you? Because originally Laura was gonna go to the hospital while it's you know in early stages, and I was gonna arrive like a knight in shining armor and be like, yo, what's up, daddy's here. That sounds fucking weird. <laughs> I can't say that anymore. But now nah, Laura was like, you need to come right now. So we went, we drove. I almost drove to the wrong hospital, but we made it in the end. And then Laura smashed it. And four hours later, Harper, that's the name of the baby, Harper Gale, she was born. It was awesome. And um, yeah, I got a lot of respect for Laura and women out there because that is an absolutely... That's just, just a joke of a process, like fair play. I'll give you that, honestly. But honestly, it was so, so good. One of the best experiences of my life so far. And it was all worth it in the end. And Laura's, like Laura's whole energy went from being in so much pain, in so much agony, to as soon as Harper was born and then put onto a chest, it was just pure, you know, happiness, pure emotions, and she was over the moon. So it was great to be able to witness that and experience that. But yeah, first day was pretty, after the birth, it was pretty kind of like, I don't want to say anticlimactic because it's about a whole baby, but it was, you know, Laura obviously is getting taken care of. Um, you know, it's quite a grueling experience to be fair. The midwives are there helping, making sure everything's okay with Laura. Um, because ultimately, once the baby's born, the baby will be okay, you know, and we'll get to the baby, but it's all about Laura in that situation, making sure she's healthy and making sure she's okay, um, you know, going forward. So with that being said, it was a strange experience because there was like five midwives there, the rest of the ward, and Laura and the baby and my mum. So Laura pretty much kicked my mum and myself out uh, because she has all the help she needs. You know, the midwives are there, they know what they're doing. And also I need sleep and I need rest as well to make sure that when Laura and baby are home, then I can you know do what I can do and be there as much as possible. So day one, I was kicked out of the hospital. So I went home, got some food and I just streamed again for another eight hours. Um, so my, <laughs> the start of half of you know, life has been consistent of me streaming on GTA. Day number two, Laura stayed in the hospital for 24 hours after the birth just to make sure she's okay and sort a few things out. So during that time, my mum and I were back and forth between home and and the hospital making sure everything's all good. <laughs> and day two actually was the night of the troops meal and then JJ and, uh, and Ethan's birthday night out, you know, XIX on that. So I, uh, yeah, I went to that. Yeah, I went to that. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's fine. My mum was there, Laura was there. Laura told me go, you know, be normal. I mean, to keep our lives normal. Day three, the baby did not sleep at all, at all. Laura was up all night trying to feed, the baby wasn't feeding properly. It's hard, right? You gotta think of it's a new experience. It's a crazy experience as well. You, you know, now you've got a baby born and you're feeding it through yourself, this is weird man. This is a feeding session. There's a crying baby. <laughs> There's a Laura. <laughs> She's not very happy today. She's funny though. Day four was an interesting one. Uh, there's something called jaundice. If you uh, have had a baby or if you've had friends or family have a baby, you would know what I mean. I'm not gonna go into that too much, but essentially she had to go and get checked up for that. Thankfully the jaundice levels did not rise, so she was all good to stay at home. I've been still streaming throughout all this by the way, so <laughs> Thanks. Shout out to my mum once more for being there for the baby and Laura. She's been doing all the orders for the store, the Pokemon.net store, which means that Laura doesn't have to be at the unit and also we can still generate income for the crazy expenses that we have because of the business. And also I'm still able to stream, you know, and one thing that is a blessing with me being able to stream is that I can still have the baby, you know. So shout out to you guys who support me and watch these streams and allow me to have that space that I need. So for example, I'll be streaming, uh, Laura will want me to have the baby because Laura wants to get some sleep. So I'll turn the face camera off. I'll sit with the baby like this. Uh, I have the mouse here so I can still talk because my push to talk is on my mouse. Sometimes my friend in game has to carry me around to do meetings, which is fine. But sometimes if I'm lucky and the baby can, you know, sleep, uh, Harper can sleep, I'll have it like this, heads there and I can put my hand here and I can game and she's just lying there with her head there. That, that's the best you know, situation, but it's not all, you're not always that lucky, you know, you're not always that lucky. And if she cries once, you're screwed, man, you're done, done for. So then, uh, then I gotta walk around, push to talk again. But yeah, shout out to you guys being so considerate for that. And it's awesome that I can still stream, still generate income, still provide for the family while I'm doing that. Andrew's just feeding the baby, so I thought I'd try and film it. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's just arrow. 
it's not milk. Believe it or not, this water bottle right here was a big part of the pregnancy. This is air up. I had one to keep me hydrated. Laura had one to keep her hydrated. And my mum also had one. We had blue, green, clear, different colors for each of us, different flavors for each of us as well. And I want to say thank you to air up for sponsoring this video. For those who don't know what air up is, air up is a modernized approach to the water bottle. You fill it up with completely regular water and you put these flavor pods on top. And what this does is when you take a sip of this water bottle, you can actually taste a flavor depending on what flavor you choose. But it's not in the liquid. The flavor isn't in the liquid. It's through your scent and through your smell. I'm tasting the flavor right here. And what this does is it keeps you entertained. It keeps you interested, you know. And if you want to drink plain water, by the way, you can do. Just put the tab down. And there we go. No flavor, just regular water. But then up causes the flavor to enter your, you know, scent. It's part of my daily routine now. Every single day, wake up, look, have these bottles by my side and just sip them throughout my day working. Accessories too. You can hang it. You can attach it to your bags. And there we go. Enjoy the rest of the video. I'm going to go drink some water. Day five, Laura goes back for another appointment with the baby. This time, though, she didn't want me to take the baby in the car. So she said, nope, I don't want you to drive me. I'm going to take the baby onto the tube, the overground, and I'm going to, you know, take the baby myself because that's something that she wants to do. She wants to get out and also she wants to try and take the baby out, you know. So she took the pram and the baby hated it. Absolutely hated it. Crying the whole way back, crying the whole way there. Um, I think in the actual midwife as well, I think the baby just like, did a wee everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, but overall it's been great. It's been really great. Day six is the day where Harper started to smile much more. Obviously, we're not really showing Harper on camera and stuff. We will at some point if it makes sense to do, but we're not desperate to, you know. And also, we want to respect the, the privacy as well. So it'll be, just, it'll be like, you know, it's not, it's not going to be any vlogs. Like, oh my gosh, my daughter just had her first step, something like that. But it might be like, oh, we're going out on a day and this needs to be filmed for whatever reason. And she's in it, you know, but we're not in no rush to kind of share her. But anyway, the smiles are cute. She's really, really cute. I'm not going to show you, but she's adorable. So you got to take my word for it. And I'm not saying that as a parent. Parents always say their kids are cute even if they ain't but she is she really is so that's good she's getting cute about a day actually so yeah shut up day seven the final day of this video and it's going really amazing you know the jaundice checks happened again she's completely fine she started to gain weight there's a point a period where the weight wasn't looking too good and you know, she was losing a little bit of weight but also not much to really care about but laura had to step up the feeding game you know which was even harder for laura because she's feeding every two hours for an hour and it's like, if you think about that, right? If you think about like going to bed, the worst thing for me about going to bed and not getting much sleep is, you guys know this, right? Sometimes if, you got, if you're gonna do it all night or you know you're gonna get two hours sleep, sometimes it's best to stay awake and just grind through, right? But imagine having to sleep every hour to then wake up every two hours to then feed for an hour, you know, like 24 hours, like, and, then, and then the next day, and the next day, it's horrible, man. So that's why I'll have the baby as much as possible. Laura will give you the baby and she'll say, bring her back at 6 a.m. But I'll take her back at seven, at half seven if she's sleeping, you know, which I know is not helpful, but <laughs> at the same time, Laura needs as much sleep as possible. So I've been trying to do that. Um, and that's why streaming has been really helping, you know. Fully discharged from the midwives now, so everything's okay. So we're all on our own. We have to register the name. We still haven't done that. You have like six weeks to register the name, but you have to go in person, man. Like what, it's 20, 22 is half an hour away. So Laura has to literally take the baby half an hour away just to register the name. Could be an email, man. I could just literally go, yo, what's up, Harper? <laughs> That's it, man. Uh, but yeah, I want to say thank you to you guys for the support along this whole journey. Like it's been something that we've, you know, um, involved you guys in, you guys have supported, so it's really nice to be able to do that, to have that like outlet, to be able to talk, to be able to speak about these things. You know, we had the podcast as well where we told stories and it's just sick having you guys, you know, here for the journey because it's gonna be going for many, many years, right? Who knows where it's gonna be in five, 10, 15 years. Who knows, are we still gonna be making content? Are you guys still gonna be watching? Are you gonna be growing with us? So yeah, I wanna, you know, keep you guys in the loop and um, especially when I was streaming because you guys saw me leave the stream. I didn't say where I was going, but you all assumed. So then when the baby was born, I felt like I really wanted to be able to announce it as quick as possible so you guys know we're okay. Because you know, I had messages like, are you okay? I've not heard from you, what's going on? So shout out to you guys, we're all a big family and you guys are the best. So um, yeah, thanks for watching this. Uh, hopefully this has helped you guys and thanks for the support overall. And uh, yeah, I'll probably make a few more videos in the future updating you or talking on a podcast, but Harper's all good, Laura's all good. And um, yeah, very exciting. So. Peace. And also check out the sponsor for this video, Air Up. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you and uh, peace.